All right. First and foremost, I want to start off by saying, Brockate Howard, Brockate Howard Shai, Brockate Howard, Brockate Howard Shai, Brockate Howard, Brockate Howard Shai, Kohola, Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Raka Kodash. Double honors to the apostles of GMS who rule well and who taught me this truth. And I shalom to you, Sincere Akim, out there listening, learning, and pushing this truth. And I shalom to the few Sincere Akwath that are out there listening and learning as well. And with that being said, I'm going to jump straight into this lesson. Lord is willing, it'll be edifying. As usual, I'm going to go into the uh, Rakaq Kwadash. And uh, for the record, today's date is uh, September 1st, uh, 2020, the year of prophecy. And uh, this shouldn't be a long video. Um, I just uh, put on the news. I was, you know, looking, watching the news, trying to see uh, what was going on in the world. And, of course, yet another so-called black man has been gunned down by law enforcement. Um, this is becoming a broken record, okay? Year after year, time after time, you know, it is what it is. We're in these times, man. But all, this thi all these things are happening, and Jake still is not considering... You know, why these things are befalling them. You know, why we're at the bottom. Why Esau even hunts our steps. You know, why we're looked at as the filth of the earth. You know, Jake is not considering. They're not considering the con why they're in the conditions that they're in. They're not considering their maker. They're not considering their latter end. You know, they're just doing their own thing, man. But, hey, it is what it is. That's their lot. You know, the elect, the elect of Yasharala are the only ones that are considering and repenting and are going to be obedient and turn back to their power, our power, Yahweh, why Yahweh Shai, all right? But nonetheless, um, it's a real short clip. Um, like I said, in L.A., another black so-called black man got killed, and a couple of scriptures came to mind, and so I pulled them, and um, that'll be the lesson. Like I said, Lord's willing, it'll be edifying. All right, so let's, let's get it popping. This is off of RT from today, September 1st, 2020, the year of prophecy. And these prophecies, we keep telling you, are screaming, okay? All right? <laughs> the vision is yet for an appointed time, and at the end it shall speak. We're at the end. The vision the, the vision that was made plain upon tables, it's screaming, man. It's speaking loudly, okay? You, you, you know, you're being warned over and over, okay? There's going to be no cloak for your sins, all right? And uh, these things that are... Uh, Fall us, man. It's obvious, man. As as, as I'm gonna bring into Lord's, as I, as I'm gonna go into Lord's will in, in the scriptures, there these these curses chiefly are, bef are are upon you for a sign and a wonder, man. You know, for you to consider. But Jake don't consider. Jake don't care. Jake Jake just doing their own thing, man. And that's both kingdoms, northern and southern kingdom, man. You know. But anyway. It says defund the police, and that's the that's the uh, mantra that's being screamed all throughout Babylon the Great. Not sure about globally. I, I can't remember globally. I haven't really paid attention to many other other countries or that wants to defund the police. But I know here in Babylon the Great, you know, down there in Atlanta, they were talking about defunding the police. You know, so on and so forth. You know, Portland. These a lot. Of, that's that's the narrative. And as you can see, Eagle Face Trump ain't with that narrative. Eagle Face Trump is saying, hey, give me the power. Let me send in the National Guard. Let me send in the troops. Let me send in the stormtroopers, you know. And he's doing it anyway, okay. He's deploying more and more troops, like we keep saying, because we're in these times. These cities are becoming besieged. We're in a time of 2nd Ezra 15, 2nd Ezra 16, Matthew 24, okay. So anyway, it says defund the police. Protest in L.A., Los Angeles, after sheriffs, the deputies, shoot and kill black men. Okay, and we're not black. We're different shades of brown. We keep telling you that, okay? And Esau Edom, the so-called white man, he's not white, okay? He's different shades of red, okay? No one's black. No one is white. That's a covering cast that was put over the people, okay? So that Esau Edom can hide his true identity and, and hide our true identity, you know? So anyway, it says, does, uh, it reads, uh, offer RT, it says, dozens of protesters gathered in Los Angeles after a black man from the neighborhood was shot and killed by sheriff's deputies. The Los Angeles, hey, and it seems like it's open season on you, Jakes, man. That's what it seems like to me. It's open season, man. It says, the Los Angeles County 
uh, sheriff's department, sheriff's department said on Twitter that the incident happened when deputies attempted to stop a man riding his bike for a vehicle code violation. So they trying to give this man a ticket, a citation over riding a fucking bike, man. He show you how these, how they operate, man. I ain't even going to go into it, man. But that's part of the curses, man. They hunt our steps. You know, let me get that out of the way real quick. You know, that's part of the curses, man. We are yet to stay in captivity, man. Okay. Uh, uh, where is it at? Salakia. It's, uh, the main point is going to be in 18. Okay. Lamentations chapter 4, verse 18. And 19 is a clue, a further clue to who the hell that's talking about. Okay, that's hunting our steps in 21. Matter of fact, I didn't plan on reading all of that, but that's the spirit. The Wadi Hal Bachin Al Shai. Alright. Like I'm just going to recall Kodash. Alright. Let me start at 11. That <coughs> Salak. Salak. This is a uh, Lamentations chapter 4, verse 11. Main point is in 18, and so on and so forth. But it says, The Lord Yahweh hath accomplished his fury, because the Lord is pissed with us, man. He's angry. That's why we went into captivity under all these nations, man. We went into captivity under all these nations so that we would consider and turn back to our power. He put nation after nation, okay? The Hamites, the Babylonians, you know, you know, the Syrians, you know, and then he, you know, and three times we, we, went, we, went, we went under Esau, Edom, you know, under the Greeks, the Romans, and the rebirth of the Roman Empire, which is now, you know, Babylon, the great America, the beast. You know, NATO and the EU, that's the rebirth of the Romans. So we went under captivity over and over under these heathen nations. And and, 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 and um, the Lord put a cruel nation, like the cruelest, the basis of men, you know. You know, he put the wickedest nation, you know, uh, uh, over us to, to, to get us to consider and, and, and repent. But two thirds are just not going to consider, man. They can't be stricken anymore. You know, their whole head is sick. They're dead. You can't save them, man. They're up there father the devil. You know, they can't get right, man. Okay? You know? So it said the Lord, but but like I said, these, these things happen because the Lord is pissed at us, man. For chiefly whoring after other gods, man. You know? He's a jealous God, man. Breaking the law, statutes, and commandments first and foremost and whoring after these other gods, man. That are no gods. You know? Doing our own thing. Being self-willed, man. Instead of being obedient and following the law, statutes, and commandments that the Heavenly Father laid out for us, man. You know? So it said, the Lord have accomplished his fury. He have poured out his fierce anger and have kindled a fire in Zion and have devoured the foundations thereof. And that happened, man. You know, northern and southern kingdom. We were completely destroyed. As it says, it had to be a falling away for us. We discontinued from our heritage, man. You know? And how chiefly by... By Esau Edom, man, because all the other nations, they we knew who we were under all the other captivities, but Esau Edom completely stripped us, stripped us of our of our identity, man. You know, he furthered the affliction, man. You know, but but all that happened because the Lord was angry. You know, but that, like I said, like it says in Lamentations four and twenty two, the punishment of our, our captivity is accomplished. You know, you know. Yahweh will have mercy on Jacob and will yet choose Israel, man. You know? But at this time, only the elect, only the ones that are going to be obedient, only the ones that are going to seek after his face. You know? So it says, The Lord Yahweh have accomplished his fury. He have poured out his fierce anger and have kindled a fire in Zion. Okay? And it have devoured the foundations thereof. The kings of the earth and all the inhabitants of the world would not have believed that the adversary and the enemy should have entered into the gates of Jerusalem, because what we are the Lord's chosen people, we are the apple of the Lord's eye, you know. They all saw the power of, of Israel, Yasharallah, when we came out of Egypt, you know, and they feared. But because of our sins, the Lord turned his back on us. Our sins separated us from Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. You see, he took that hedge from around us, you know, and, and we got we went we went into captivity, you know, around the four corners of the earth, man, you know. So it says, for the sins of her prophets, like I said, our sins. What, did, what is sin? Transgression of the law. What law? The laws from Yahweh Shai that Moses brought forth for, you know, from, the, you know, 
that Moses presented to us. And not just the Ten Commandments, there are over 630 something odd commandments, you know. And we've always, it, that, that's life, that's the breath of life. We've always knew, we've always had the laws, you know. It's just that Moses had them written down, you know, but they were always, we always knew them. Whether they were um, in us or, or, or verbally, going back to Adam, you know, Adam had the, Adam knew the laws, you know. Abraham, even going back to Cain and Abel, you know. Going back to offerings, Cain knew what it was an acceptable offering, so did Abel. You know, so we always had the laws, you know. But that, but but breaking them, that's what separates us, man. You know. So it says, for the sins of her prophets and the iniquities, all right, and iniquity is sin upon sin, all right, and we're the two, what well, in, in general, we're laden in iniquity, sin upon sin. We're all worthy of death. But through the blood of Yahweh Shai HaMashiach, we have grace, you know. But that doesn't give us license to, to sin willy-nilly, man. You know, you're supposed to try it, you know. So it says, for the sins of the prophets and the iniquities of her priests that have shed the blood of the just in the midst of her, they have wandered as, as blind men in the, in the streets. They have polluted themselves with blood so that men could not touch their garments. They cried unto them, Depart ye, it is unclean, depart, touch not. When they fled away and wandered, they said among the heathen, They shall no more sojourn there. The anger of the Lord Yahweh hath divided them, separated us, because we're supposed to be a, a holy people, a separate people, unto Yahweh Shai. Okay? But our sins made the Lord angry. The anger of the Lord Yahweh hath divided them. He will no more regard them. They respected not the persons of the priests. They favored not the elders. Hey, because hey, cause some of us were trying to do the right thing. Like Jeremiah, for example. But and just like they do now, okay, Yahweh Shai has always kept a righteous cluster. You know? You know? Always, man. Okay? But but just like they do now, they mock and they misuse and scoff the prophets, man. The two-thirds, man. You know, everybody comes back in their own in, in their lot. But the, but Yahweh Bashim Yahweh said Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai said even Jeremiah was gonna go into captivity, man. We all had to fall, you know. You know, because the Lord deals with nations; He judges nations. Okay, He's not a respective person. Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai deals with nations. That's why the whole nation of Esau Edom is gonna be Obadiah one eighteen, man. They're all gonna go into slavery. They're all gonna go into captivity. Now we know amongst the Edomites, well, so-called white people, you're going to have Israelites. You're going to have Israelites because we're scattered amongst all the heathen, all the nations, man. Okay? We're scattered. You're going to have Israelites uh, that look like the heathen nations, but their father, on their father's side, because the man carries the seed, goes back to one of the 12 patriarchs. So that would make them Israelite foreigners. All right? You know, or, or as you would, you know, I'm not even going to say the other word right now, okay? But they're, Israel, they're Israelites, man. If your father, if your father goes back one, to one of the 12 patriarchs, you are an Israelite, no matter what you look like. Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai's heritage is, 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 is a speckled bird, man. It said Ephraim is a, is a cake unturned, man, you know? So we're different colors and we're damn sure not black, you know? So it says, the anger of the Lord Yahweh have divided them. He will no more regard them. They respected not the persons of the priests. They favored not the elders. That's two-thirds, man. Okay? They want to be told smooth things. You know? So they put these wicked leaders, these Al Sharp, Sharp Tongues, Jesse uh, Jesse Jackson, and all these wicked leaders, man, that caused the people to err. But, hey, they love to be lied to, man. They love to hear smooth things. They love to have it so, man. You know? Because they're of their father, the devil. They're wicked. They can't get right. Only the elect are going to be obedient. Okay? You know? It says, see, that's what it says. As for us, it's a, it's a division. Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai divided them. Okay? That's what he's doing now. He's sifting the house of Israel, man. Okay? He's looking for, that's what we're doing. We're fishing through these epistles and going out on the highways and the Bibles. We're fishing for the hopeful elect, man. Okay? Because there's a division. There's a separation, man. Okay? It says, the anger of the Lord Yahweh have divided them. He will no more, he will no more regard them. They respected not the persons of the priests. They favored not the elders. As for our eyes, as yet, it's like, as for as for us, our eyes yet fail for our vain help. And our in our watching, we have watched for a nation that could not save us. 
talking about, hey, that's that's you damn dealt. That's the, you two thirds, man. It's lucky. That's them two thirds, man. That that trust in Egypt, man. That trust in the oppression, the, the oppressor. Okay, that trust in Esau, even the so-called white man. The scriptures say, "Woe to you that go down to Egypt for help, man." Okay, you guys are gonna get pierced through. You're gonna put your trust in this so-called white man. You keep, you keep, you keep running to this man. You keep running to this man to help you, man. For, in vain, Salaki. This is talking about you, damn two thirds, man. Salaki. Yeah, this is talking about you, two thirds. Lamentation four and seventeen. As for us, our eyes yet failed for uh, for our vain help, and our watching we have watched for a nation that could not save us. You keep looking to the the Democratic Party and all the Joe Biden. Um, Bernie Sanders, Bill Clinton, they're the enemy, man. Okay, you know they ain't, they not they don't have your best interests in in, in, in in heart, man. They want to see you destroyed. They want to see the name of Yasharala cut off, man. Okay, you know you're looking for help in vain, man. The only one that's gonna save you is Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai, Yahweh Shai, man. Deuteronomy 28 and 60, uh, 68. Let me jump down real quick. And said that you were going to go into Egypt again with ships and that no man was going to buy you or free you. The only way you're going to get out of this thing is by turning back to your power, your how about how shy, man? Okay? That's the only way you're going to get salvation. Okay? Being obedient. This is Deuteronomy 28 and 68. And the Lord Yahweh shall bring thee into Egypt again, which is what? Bondage, which is where? In America, Babylon the Great, spiritually Sodom and Egypt. Okay? We came over here in ships cargo slave ships these curses fit us to a t don't fit any other nation okay okay damn sure don't fit those so-called jays and the lord Yahweh shall bring thee into egypt again with ships by the way whereof i spake unto thee thou shalt see it no more again meaning our homeland jerusalem is the mother of us all israel that land where we're not going to go back there as a nation okay and there shall and it says and there meaning in egypt babylon america okay America, you know, and there you shall be sold unto your enemies, which is who? Chiefly our chief enemy, our chief adversary, Esau Edom, for bondmen and bondwomen, for slaves. And we're still slaves, man. You know, Esau Edom even enslaved his own people, man. Through what? Through the banking system, through the monetary system, okay? Amalek, the Amalekites, all right? The international bankers, they have the whole world in bondage, enslaved under this usury. Okay, this money, this fiat system, but hey, they're, they're 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 trying to take it one step further by crashing this fiat system, this funny money, this dollar, this yen, the the the, the uh, pound, and ushering in this cashless society, this Internet of Things, the Karagma, the Mark of the Beast, RFID microchip. You see, we're in these times. So it says, "Thou it says, and the Lord Yahweh shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships." By the way whereof I speak unto thee, thou shalt see it no more again. And there ye shall be sold unto your enemies for bondmen and bondwomen, and no man shall buy you. That's the main part, part the main point. Nobody's going to free us but Yahweh Shai. Okay? You know, we're prisoners of Yahweh Shai. We're bought with the price. The price is being obedient. Okay? You know? So anyway, uh, back in Lamentations, back in, back in Lamentations 4 and 17, as for us, our eyes uh, yet fail for, for our vain help. In our watching, we have watched for a nation that could not save us, the enemy. They hunt our, this is the main point that I wanted in, uh, to go to that video and what's been going on time and time again, like I said, a broken record, a broken narrative. Trayvon Martin, um, Tonus, oh, I can't even let, uh, Philando Castillo, uh, there's so many of them, man. Jacob Blake now, whatever. So many of them, man, you know. And not just not just uh, the so-called Negroes, you know. They, it happens to the, the the northern the northern kingdom too, man. You know, Ephraim, Issachar, you know, Gad, Reuben. We all we all are, you know. Yet this day in captivity, man. They hunt all our steps, man. Look at what was going on in, in North Dakota with the pipeline, you know. You know, we're all under the curses, you know. So it says they hunt our steps, okay. And that's these damn police officers, man. Law enforcement, they sit in the cut, in the bushes like damn lions, you know, in the cut trying to catch you speeding, setting up speed traps, you know, looking for any old reason to pull you over and search your vehicle, you know, um, what they call it, uh, uh, racially profiling you, you know, 
You see what I'm saying? They hunt our steps that we cannot go in our streets. You see? You know? What New York, where was it? New York had to had to stop and frisk, you know? Couldn't even come out your own damn house without getting frisked, you know? For no reason. No uh probable cause. They could just frisk you for no reason, you know? Because we are yet this day in captivity, man. This is not our rest. We're not in heaven, man. This is our hell. This is Esau Edom's heaven, man. But guess what? A changing of worlds is coming. Okay? Esau is the end of the world. Jacob is the beginning of it, of it that followeth. And how about you, how shy is going to put all these curses on them that hate us, man? Okay? So anyway, it says, this is going kind of longer than I wanted, but it is what it is. You know? It says, they hunt our steps that we cannot go in our streets. Our end is near, our days are fulfilled, for our end is come. Our persecutors, meaning the ones that are hunting us, our adversaries, our enemies, our persecutors are swifter than the eagles of the heaven. That's a code, that's a clue, okay? They, they, per, they pursued us upon the mountains, they laid wait for us in the wilderness. You know, and that's of old and of now, okay? No new thing under the sun. It says, the breath of our nostrils the anointed of the Lord Yahweh was taken in their pits, of whom we said under his shadow we shall live among the heathen. Okay, because that's who we put our trust in, the elect. We put our trust in Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Okay, you know, even, hey, this is the valley of the shadow of death. Our, our, our life hangs in doubt, as I'm going to bring out, man. You know, but we put our trust in Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. You see? It says, Rejoice and be glad, O daughter of Edom, because that's the ones that are persecuting us, man. That's our chief adversary, our chief enemy, okay, that you people are trust putting your, that nation that you're putting your, your, your trust in vain, that cannot save you, okay, you see, they're not your, they're not, they don't have your best interests in, in heart, man, they have a, Esau, Edom has a perpetual hatred against Jacob, man, over the birthright, man, the blessing, or a never ending, a never ending hatred, man, okay, it's two matter of people were separated in that womb, man. Okay? You know, one righteous, one wicked. Esau, Edom is the vessel of, vessels, of, vessels of wrath fitted to destruction. They are the wicked. Okay? They are, they are, Esau, they are Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai's whipping stick. Okay? On the left-hand side. Because you... Anyway. Uh, Lamentation 4 and 21. It says, Rejoice and be glad, O daughter of Edom, that dwellest in the land of Uz. The cup also shall pass through unto thee, meaning judgment. Thou shalt be drunken and shalt make thyself naked. And he's, he's being drunken now and making himself naked. He's being beer. He's exposing himself. You know, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai is exposing him. The prophets of the Lord are exposing him. His Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai's men, the servants, we're exposing him. You know, and Esau, Edom's own people, their tongues are falling upon themselves. Okay, he's, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai is making the man of sin be revealed. He's being made beer. He can't hide himself, you see? It says, The punishment of thine iniquity is accomplished, O daughter of Zion. He will no more carry thee away into captivity. He will visit thine iniquity, O daughter of Edom. He will discover thy sins. So, but you get the point. The main point is that they hunt our steps, man. Okay, Esau, Edom. Okay? You know, and that's part of the curses. Okay? Because we're being disobedient. So let's go back. Let's read a little bit more of this. Uh, well, I read it already. I'll play it's a real short video. It's, the video is not even that important. It was it was the, the the headline is what caught my 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 um my eye. So it says dozens of protesters gathered in Los Angeles after a black man from the neighborhood was shot and killed by deputies. Deputies, and you don't hear this happening to any other nation. You don't hear of Moabites this happening to to Moabites like that, or or Elamites, you know, or Japhites, you know, or Hamites. Okay, it's always the so-called Negro, or 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 or, or so uh, Ephraimite, or you know, a so-called Puerto Rican, or Issacarite, or or or, or so-called Native American Indian. We're the ones that are constantly getting gunned down. Okay, we are the ones that are being racially profiled. You know, you see, because we are the Lord, we are the Lord's chosen people, and these other nations have a have a natural animosity towards us, chiefly Esau Edom. You know. So it says, dozens of protesters gathered in Los Angeles after a black man from the neighborhood was shot and killed by sheriff's, dep by sheriff's deputies. The Los Angeles County Sheriff's, sheriff's Department said on Twitter that the incident happened when deputies, not just one, multiple, multiple men, multiple sheriffs, okay, 
attempted to stop a man, a man, multiple men tried to stop one man riding his bike, okay, for a vehicle code violation, and they ended up unloading on that man and killing him, all right? So I'll play a little bit of, I'll play this, it's real short, you know, same old, same thing, same old, same, you know, going down to Egypt for help, begging this man for, you know, he's doing what he's supposed to do, man. You, you're, you're the ones that are off. Esau Edom is in his right mind. Two-thirds of Jake, you're, you're bugged the hell out, okay? You know? Ain't nothing too spectacular. Like I said, it was the headline that caught my eye. You know? And as usual, it's a bunch of Edomites, well, what appear to be Edomites, that are, that are doing this protesting, man. And I don't see no Jakes in there, man. I don't see no Jakes. All Edomites. Look at him over there smoking. You see? But Black Lives Matter, you know? Yeah, I guess that's one Jake. We all, you know, anyway, you got the idea. You got the idea. We know what time it is. We're not ignorant of Satan's devices, you know? Anyway, let, let's let's bang out some more script, scriptures and I'll close it out. Um, I wanted to get this. The main point is going to be in um, verse 6, okay? Because Yahweh Shem Shai is tired, man. He's tired of his arm. Yahweh Shem Shai is long-suffering that all may come to repentance. His arm is not short that he cannot save. His arm is stretched out, man. But he, he gets tired, man. Everybody has their limit. And enough is enough. And the doors of mercy are closing, man. Yahweh Bashim Shai is weary of repenting. Okay? He's weary of repenting. That's the main point that I wanted to get out of this. He's tired, man. He's tired. He got his men out there. You know, he, he, he's commanded us. And we're moved by fear. That knowing the terror, the Lord, we persuade men. You know, we're being obedient. You know, constantly signing crime for all the abominations that are done therein. But, but two-thirds, they just refuse. So, hey, you're going to get cut off, man. You're going to get cut off. You're going to experience death by pain, even though it's not meant for you. Okay? But you'll be all right. You know, you'll come back in the kingdom as a newborn babe in your right mind through the loins of the elect. Okay? And you'll have that. You'll have the second covenant will be in you. So you'll be perfect. You'll be in your right mind. But, hey, on this, if you ain't gonna, if you ain't getting it right now, you're going to have experience death by pain, man. Um, Like I said, the main point is in verse 6. Uh, let me see, though. I guess kind of, I start at the top. Jeremiah 15 and 1, it says, Then said then said the Lord Yahweh unto me, Though Moses and Samuel stood before me, yet my mind could not be toward this people. Okay? Cast them out of my sight. Like I said, our sins, it's, it, the Lord, it separated us, man. Okay? But hey, at the end of the day, Yahweh Shemir Shai is going to have mercy on Israel and will yet choose, will have mercy on Jacob and yet choose Israel, man. Okay? You know? It says, Then said the Lord Yahweh unto me, Though Moses and Samuel stood before me, yet my mind could not be toward this people, because we are rebellious, man. A most rebellious house, man. Stiff neck, hard neck, impudent, backsliding, adulterous, you know, generation, man. You know, we just keep pissing the Lord off, you know. So it says, Yet my mind could not be toward this people. Cast them out of my sight and let them go forth. Go forth into what? Captivity, man. As it's going to say. And it shall come to pass, if they say unto thee, Whither, whither shall we go forth? Then shall, then thou shalt, then thou shalt tell them. Thus saith the Lord Yahweh. This is Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai speaking, man. These are his words, such as for the death to the death, and that's gonna ha that happened then, and all these other captivities, and it's gonna happen again. We're entering into the time of Jacob's trouble, man. Okay, the hour of temptation. This is the last, this, the, the, the doors of mercy are closing, man, okay? You know, the slain of the Lord is going to be many. You don't want to be caught on the on the bad side of the Lord, man, all right? The Lord is extremely pissed, man. How about you, Yahweh Shai is pissed, man. This judgment is really for Esau, Edom, and the other nations, man. But the two things, you're going to get caught up in it, man, okay? You know? So it says, it says um... Thus saith the Lord Yahweh, such as are for the death to the death, and such as for the sword to the sword, and such as for the famine to the famine. That's Jacob's trouble, man. That's what's coming. Death, the sword, famine, captivity, you know, 
tribulation, anguish, evil times, bad times. It's happened before and it's going to happen again. Daniel 12 and 1, a time like never before, man. Okay? You know? Repent. It said, Thus saith the Lord Yahweh, such as for the death to the death, and such as for the sword to the sword, and such as for the famine to the famine, and such as for the captivity to the captivity. Uh, and I will appoint over them four kinds, saith the Lord, the sword to slay, the dog to tear, the fowls of heaven, and the beast of the earth to devour and destroy. And I will cause them to be removed into all the kingdoms of the earth. And that's happened already. Okay, we've got, we're scattered. Okay, like I said, you got Israelites that are scattered amongst all the nations, man. Okay. And I will cause them to be removed into all the kingdoms of the earth because of Manasseh, the son of Hezekiah, king of Judah, for that which he did in Jerusalem. For who shall have pity upon thee, O Jerusalem? Nobody. None of these nations have pity upon us, man. They all lick our wounds, man. They're all licking our wounds. They're all furthering the affliction. Okay? You know? Because if they really wanted to help, they'd give us back our, our identity. Okay? they tell us who we were. You know? It says, For who shall, have, who shall have pity upon thee, O Jerusalem? Who shall bemoan thee? Nobody. Okay? Nobody. Okay? Except for the men, except for Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shine his men. We're the only ones sighing and crying for all the abominations done therein. Okay? You know? It says, For who shall have pity upon thee, O Jerusalem? And remember, we're a people before a place. Okay? It says, Or who shall bemoan thee? Or who shall go aside to ask thou? Or who shall go aside to ask how thou doest? That's the main point I wanted. Thou hast forsaken me, saith the Lord Jehovah. Thou art gone backward. Therefore will I stretch out my hand against thee and destroy thee. And that's coming, man. That that he's that's coming. Jacob's trouble, okay? It's coming. I am weary with repenting. You see? Yahweh Bashim Yahushai is tired of it. He's tired of it. You see? Thou hast forsaken me, saith the Lord Yahweh. Thou art gone backward. Therefore will I stretch out my hand against thee and destroy thee. That's the two-thirds, okay? The elect, the one-third are going to get delivered, you know? And weary, I am weary with repenting, all right? Because we were warned. We were warned about this, man. We were warned of old. You know? We were warned. You know? And you're being warned now. Um, I wanted to get something out of this. Um, straight to the point. Uh, I want to get to, you know, this Deuteronomy 28 goes into the blessings and the curse, man. Blessings and the curse, you know? But I want to get straight to the point for the sake of time. Um... Lock you. Well, we know, we know. So I'm, I'll read some of the curses, you know. It says, but it, Deuteronomy 28 and 15, but it shall come to pass if thou will not, and this we not, we're not hearkening, we're not listening. So these curses befell, befell, befell us or, or, or upon us, overtaken us, man. Okay. And part of the curses are being, us being cursed, you know, being hunted, being the bottom, the filth, which I'm going to bring out, you know. You know, them hunting our steps, that's part of being us being killed by the police. That's that's part of the curses, you know. But that's because, like I said, we're not being obedient. And it's going to get worse. We ain't seen nothing yet, you know. So this is Deuteronomy 28, verse 15. But it shall come to pass, if thou will not, will not hearken unto the voice of the Lord Jehovah thy power, to observe, to do all his commandments and his statutes, which I have commanded thee this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. And they have, they are. Cursed shall thou be in the city and cursed shall thou be in the field. All right. And we're cursed. You can read some of the curses. All right. It says, Cursed shall thou be when thou comest in and cursed shall thou be when thou goest out. That's happening. Pestilence. The Lord shall make the pestilence cleave unto thee until it have consumed thee from the off the land whither thou hast goest. And that's happening, man. Inflammation, you know, consumption, you, you know, mildew, all these things are happening, man. Diabetes, high cholesterol, you know, gout, you know. All these things, if we're not obeying the Habashim Yahushai, breaking the, the dietary laws, committing adultery, worshiping other gods, you know, they're separating us from the Habashim Yahushai, you know, going down to Egypt for help, you know, trusting in the oppressor, you know. So, um, uh, let me read 25. The Lord Yahweh shall cause thee to be smitten, meaning killed, destroyed. 
The Lord shall cause thee to be smitten before thine enemies. That's happening. Thou shalt go out one way against them and flee seven ways before them and shall be removed into all the kingdoms of the earth because we're scattered. That has happened. Okay. Um, let's see. I just want to get the main point. Uh, adultery. Look at this one. Uh, Deuteronomy 28 and 30. Thou shalt betroth a wife, meaning marry a wife, and another man shall lie with her. Hey, that's happening now, man. You know? And the scripture said there shall be no whores among the, among the daughter of Zion, man. Okay? And the, the, these, these women are nothing but whores, man. Okay? Jump from cock to cock. You know? Man to man. You know? Thou shalt betroth a wife, and another man shall lie with her. Hey, talking about the wop. You know, singing the wop and all this shit. Wicked ass women, man. Whores. You know? I said, thou shalt betroth a, but the men are no better. You know, adulterous men. You know? It says, thou shalt betroth a wife and another man shall lie with her. And they both shall be put to death according to the scriptures, man. Thou shalt build a house and thou shalt not dwell therein. Thou shalt plant a vineyard and thou shalt not grab the grapes thereof. Alright? Um, thy sons and thy daughters shall be given unto another people. And thine eyes shall look and fill with longing for them all the day long, and there shall be no might in thine hand. That's slavery. Okay? Not to mention child support, uh, well, not child support, DCF. A lot, of, a lot of our people get their children taken away. You know, your children get put into these foster homes and group homes and all this type of shit. You see? Um, uh, let's see. I just kind of want to hit the main points that I want. It says, uh, verse 37, well... Uh, I started 36. The Lord Yahweh shall bring thee and thy king which thou shalt set over thee over a na unto a nation which neither thou nor thy fathers have known. And there shalt thou serve other gods wood and stone. And that's happening now. Allah is that fucking uh, stone. And that wood is, is Christianity, that cross. You know? Caesar Borgia. You know? It says, and thou shalt become an astonishment and a proverb. And that's happening. That's ha That's now. That's how we know. These curses fit one people, man. Okay? You know? Northern and Southern Kingdom. Negroes, Spicks, Wetbacks, Porch Monkeys, you know? Uh, what else? Uh, whatever. Uh, you know, a bunch of Proverbs and Bywords, man. Black, colored, you know, so on and so forth. You know? It says, And thou shalt become an astonishment and a proverb and a byword among all nations whither the Lord Yahweh shall lead thee. Because the, cause the not not the average uh, what people of the heathen nations, but the elite, the nobles, like the nobles of Esau, Edom, chiefly the Amalekites. Okay, you know the Rothschilds, the Gettys, the Duponts, the, the, the higher ups, the higher echelons, the nobles of Moab, the nobles of Elam, the nobles of Ham. They know who we are. You see, you see, and and says, and thou shalt become an astonishment and proverb. And hey, what did uh, Omar? What's that guy? Oh, I forget his name. You know, how could the Jews leave black and come back white? You see, the, these nations and the, the elite, they know who we are. You see? And thou shalt become an astonishment and a proverb and a byword among all nations whither the Lord Yahweh shall lead thee. Um, uh, jump down. Verse 41. Thou shalt beget sons and daughters, but thou shalt not enjoy them, for they shall go into captivity. Okay? They're going to go into these prisons. Okay? We can, we can go into slavery with you. You know, we we all went into slavery, but also fast forward to now. Just you, you, you know, you, sixteen, seventeen, fifteen, being locked up in, in in the justice system. You know, going to juvenile, in and out of juvenile prisons, and then going into uh, regular prisons. You know, in and out of the system. You know, thou shalt beget sons and daughters, but thou shalt not enjoy them, for they shall go into captivity. You know, and even if they become so called successful in this man's kingdom. And, and don't get into actual prisons. You're still in captivity because you're subject to payments. You go to college and get this big, you know, go get a, your damn master's or your doctor's. Guess what? You got this big-ass student loan over you. This debt that will never go away. You know? You're subject to payments. You're yet this day in captivity as it tells you in Baruch. Okay? Uh, let's jump down. Verse 45. You know, rather read all these curses, but I just want hit, to hit some main... Uh, main points. Verse 45, Moreover, all these curses shall come upon thee and shall pursue thee and overtake thee till thou be destroyed. You can't escape these curses. You can't escape your Yahweh Shemim Yahweh judgment. It says, Because thou hearkenest not unto the voice of the Lord Yahweh thy power, 
to keep his commandments and his statutes, which he commanded thee, and they shall be upon thee. That's why, they, like I said, going back to the beginning, these things befall us so we can consider why why are we at the bottom? Why nobody fights for us? Why you know why we can't make it as a nation? Not as an individual, but as a nation. You're supposed to consider. Okay? It says, And they shall be upon thee for a sign and for a wonder and upon thy seed forever. You see? It says, Because thou servest not the Lord Yahweh thy power with joyfulness and with gladness of heart for the abundance of all things, therefore thou shalt serve thine enemies, chiefly Esau Edom, the so-called white man. That's our chief adversary, our number one enemy. Okay? Therefore shalt thou serve thine enemies, which the Lord Yahweh shall send against thee. You see, you're going down for, you, you're looking to a, a nation in vain, bro. you see? they not look, they're your enemy, man. They're not trying to help you. Okay? You see? Salakia. Where was it at? Uh... Salakia. Oh, verse 17, Salakia. As for us, Lamentation 4 17, as for us, our eyes as yet failed for our vain help and our watching. We have watched for a nation that could not save us. They're not here to save you, man. They're your enemies. For Deuteronomy 28 and 48. Therefore shall thou serve thine enemies, which the Lord Jehovah shall send against thee. That's part of the curses for you to consider. For you to consider, and they sh and they shall be upon thee for a sign and for a wonder, and upon thy seed for forever. It's to, these things befall us to remember you, Habashim Shai. To consider, man. Okay? You know? It says, uh, Therefore shall thou serve thine enemies, which the Lord Jehovah shall send against thee, in hunger, and in thirst, and in nakedness, and in want of all things. And he shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck. Go Google that, yoke of iron. See, see what image comes up. Yoke of iron. It says, until he have destroyed thee. And we are completely destroyed as a nation. Okay? Man, woman, and child. Completely destroyed. Okay? It says, the Lord Jehovah shall bring a nation against thee from far. From the end of the earth. As swift as the eagle flieth. Again, cold, keyword. A clue, a clue. A blues clue. A nation, with, a nation whose tongue thou shalt not understand. A nation of fierce countenance. Esau, Edom. His, his luck was more stout than the rest of his fellows, man. The pride of his heart have deceived him. His terribleness have deceived him. Going back to the blessing of Isaac. Isaac blessed Esau, Edom with the sword. Okay, he was going to get the fatness of the earth by the sword, man. Okay, you know. And it deceived him. A nation of fierce continents. The Lord put the wicked, the wickedness of the wicked, the, the merciless over us to consider, man. You know, but two-thirds still don't consider, man. They still are going to go down to that man for help. They're still going to trust in that man. Because two-thirds of Israel have Stockholm Syndrome, man. Okay? You know? A nation of fierce continents, which shall not regard the person of old, nor, nor show favor to the young. And that's what you see happen. They gun down everybody, young and old. Little babies, look at the Jacob Blake, man. They don't give a damn. Okay? It says, uh, let me jump down to the main point. Let me jump down to the to the main point. Uh, I'll close it out here for the sake of time. It went a little bit longer than I wanted. It's the main point that I wanted. Uh, it's in verse 66. Um, Deuteronomy 28 and 64. And the Lord Yahweh shall scatter thee among all people. Like I said, Yasharala were scattered amongst all the nations, man. Okay? You know? From one end of the earth even to even unto the other. And there shalt thou serve other gods. And that's what makes the Lord piss angry. He's a jealous power. You see, the baby G. Because there are no other gods. You know, there's only one God. One power. One true power. His name is Yahweh, And he's the power of Israel. Yasharala. No other nation. Which neither thou nor thy fathers have known. Even wooden stone. And among these nations. Shall thou find no ease. Because nobody's going to save us, man. Nobody. Okay, none of these nations, damn sure not Esau Edom. Neither shall thy neither shall the sole of thy foot have rest, but the Lord Jehovah shall give thee the heart of trembling, and failing of eyes, and sorrow of mind, and thy life, that's the main point, and thy life, thy life, because they hunt our steps, man, thy life 
shall hang in doubt before thee, and thou shalt have fear day and night, and shall have no assurance of thy life. You see? That that who who does that fit besides us? You know? That's us, man. You see? Uh, I'm going to close out with one verse. Uh, it's a lock in. Let me find it. Okay, the Wadi Al Bashim. Now, here it is. Uh, let me see where I want to start at. Let me start at 15. Okay, Deuteronomy, I'm going to close out here, man, because you got a choice, man. Everybody got to make a choice. You're hearing this word, you're seeing the prophecies, you're seeing the, 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 these things popping off. You see where things are headed, man. Things are getting worse. You know, we're heading into, we're in the beginning stages of Jacob's trouble. Repent, man. Choose life. Choose life. Okay? Not death. The wages of sin are death. What sin? Transgression of the law. That's what's separating us from our power. Okay? So repent. All right? This is um, Deuteronomy chapter 30, verse 15. It says, See, I have set before thee this day life and good and death and evil, and that I command thee this day to do, to, it says, Flocky, and that I command thee this day to love the Lord Jehovah thy power, to walk in his ways, and to keep his commandments and his statutes and his judgments, that thou mayest live and multiply. And the Lord Jehovah thy power shall bless thee in the land whither thou goest to possess it. But if thine heart turn away, so so that thou wilt not hear, but shall be drawn away and worship other gods, baby G, no gods, and serve them, I denounce unto you this day that ye shall surely perish, and that ye shall not prolong your days upon the land, whither thou pass, passest over Jordan to go to possess it. I call heaven and earth to record this day against you, that I have set before you life and death. You got a choice, man. Blessing and cursing. Therefore choose life, and both thou and thy seed may live. That thou mayest love the Lord Jeh that thou may that thou mayest love the Lord Jehovah thy power, and that thou mayest obey his voice, and thou and that thou mayest cleave unto him, for he is thy life, and the length of thy days, that thou mayest dwell in the land which the Lord Jehovah swear unto thy fathers, to Abraham, to Isaac, and to Jacob, to give to them. See, it's about the seed, that promise that was made to the seed of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Okay? And the Lord is not a man that he shall lie. But we, it's a condition. We're bought with a price. You know, a, a covenant is a contract. We're under a contract with Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. We gotta be obedient. You just can't do your own goddamn thing. Alright? Choose life, man, not death. Or are you are you gonna hey your latter end man your latter end is gonna be horrible death by pain okay famine um whatever you know uh, what, man put a sword you know whatever thermal nuclear destruction you know there's many there's many uh things that are gonna befall the two thirds man you don't want to be part of that so repent man all right anyway that was kind of long. It is what it is, you know, Lord's willing, it was edifying. Like I always say, man, we're, we're close, man, we're close. Keep your eye on the prize. Keep pushing, keep pushing, man. Chalawam. Wa abad babal.